Hello everyone. Hello everyone here at the Dakota Zoo for another creature feature. Today we are going to be talking about our red fox um, with Keeper Ani again. Um, we're giving them their breakfast this morning so um, we got some construction going on but we'll see if they come on over and, and see us and Ani will tell us more about red fox. Hello again everyone. So this is Cameron. Um, he's about six years old. Um, let's see, so red foxes um, have very dense thick fur and in the winter time they can curl up in a little ball and use that tail to wrap around their face to protect their muzzle, their nose, and their ears. And red foxes come in three different morphs. Um, this is our typical red morph. Um, they also come in black, gray, and white. Um, Chapo, which is hiding right now and you can't see, looks to be our black morph. Um, male foxes are called dogs. Female foxes are our vixens. And baby foxes are called kits. Um, they're actually omnivores. And so they eat fruits from different types of vegetation, insects, small reptiles, small mammals. And their predators um, include like humans, bears, cougars, um, bald eagles will prey upon them and also humans, mainly for their fur. Um, well, what are they, um, what are we feeding them here? Um, so we're feeding them FCD, which is feline complete diet, it's just ground beef. And inside one of the meatballs is we have a rodent. So every Wednesday of the month they get that, and along with some dog food. Like, I'll take this. <laughs> we do um, allow our foxes to dig some of their own dens. Um, we do have a dig barrier below the dirt so they can't dig completely out, but we do like to encourage that natural digging behavior. So that's what she means by the other ones are down. <laughs> the other one is down in the tunnel. Um, so yeah, it looks like they're enjoying their breakfast. Um, like I said, we've got some construction going on nearby, so you might hear some of that sound. So what the fox is doing right now is called caching. So basically they constantly hunt all the time. And so what he is doing is stashing the food away. So, and then they'll also urinate on top of it so they know it's their pile of food and they don't have to bother refinding it again or searching what that smell is. And they're also good for the environment because they control rabbits and rodent populations and they also help with seed dispersal. So then they, later when they food is more scarce, they'll go dig up their piles, correct? So cute. <laughs> so lots of times when you're here at the zoo, the best time to see um, the red foxes are if you come early in the morning and they like to be out on cooler days. Um, but sometimes actually we see them out in the evenings as well. So if you're one of the zoo goers that comes um, closer to our closing time, the, I, we see the foxes out. Um, they of course enjoy when the temps are a little cooler. So when it's those hot summer days, you don't see them out as often. They enjoy uh, their dens on those days, but that's the best time to view them here at the zoo. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in for another creature feature with us today. Um, stay tuned for other features and stay home and stay healthy.